Hi, how's everyone today? This is gonna be a short little yogic stretch for those of you like me who like to do Zumba or who like to walk or do spin classes or step aerobics classes or Pilates. This is a really nice stretch for the lower body and the spine. Um, so it won't take very long. And this is something that you can do after you come in from your walk or your run or after you come in from your Zumba class just to make your legs, hamstrings, quadriceps, everything feel a little bit better. Okay? I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody again. It won't be long now, I promise. So let's come on to our backs. We're not gonna start with breathing or um, any philosophy today because I want to do this and I want you to have it so you don't have to um, take a long time to do if you want to come in after your run to do this. But you know that breathing is essential. So I am telling you that you need to breathe as deeply as possible while you stretch. You need to breathe as deeply as possible in your yoga practice. Come all the way out to your backs. And let's, let's start out with a big full body stretch, reaching those arms overhead, stretching those legs as if the legs are trying to walk away from the hips. And as if the ribs are trying to move up away from the waist. And then on the exhale, let's take that left knee into the chest, draw that knee in tightly to the chest, rotate the ankle a few times, and don't forget to go in both directions. And then just flex that foot and point those toes a couple of times. Maybe spread the toes apart and floint the foot. And then inhale, release. Exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Draw it in tightly, but try not to tense up through the shoulders as you do that. Keep them, top, keep them loose, away from the ears. Rotate that right foot. And point and flex those right toes. And inhale, release, bring the arms overhead. Stretch, 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 stretch. On the exhale, let's bring that left knee back into the chest. Take that left arm out to the side. Right hand cups the knee and exhale. Draw that left knee down to the right. Turn your head to look over that left hand and see if you can take your breath from your left underarm down through your left side ribs, around that left glute and out the side of that left thigh. Working the breath down and out, in and up. back to center draw that left knee in one more time and release arms overhead for the inhale the exhale brings the right knee in the left hand cups the right knee the right arm comes out to the side Remember the breath, the inhale first, the exhale follows the knee down to the left. The gaze can turn to look over that right hand. And once again, be observant in these stretches to see which side of your body is taking the longest to release, which side of your body is the tightest. The practice of yoga is observing Observing. And then inhale, let's come back to center and release that right leg down. Draw both feet 
onto the mat so that your knees are pointed straight up. Bring your hands and arms down by your sides. And let's prepare for bridge pose. So on your inhale, let's press into the feet and peel that back up off the mat. Now notice my knees, if you can see your screen. They're not out here and they're not touching. Roll those arms underneath your body and use your arms to leverage your body up just a little higher. Keep your head still, no looking left or right here. Lengthen the back of that neck. And then let's come up onto the balls of our toes and lift those hips. Drop your right heel down. Take your left toes to the sky and reach, 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 reach. Unclasp your hands, slowly drop your back down, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, lift your right foot off the floor and clasp your hands at the back of your right thigh. Big breaths in. You wanna continually draw that right knee in and at the same time, press the left knee out. Let that right foot dangle. Breathe. Now this time, center your breath around that left glute, the back of the left thigh, right in this area for your piriformis, for the top of your hamstring, your hamstring tendon. Drop your right foot down. Keep your leg crossed over. Arms come down into a T. We're going to have to stop the music here. Google! Oh well. Anyway, take a nice big breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to drop that left foot squarely down on the floor. And find your breath. to the left. Use the top leg to press on the bottom leg. This time observe your right ribs. Observe your right hip. Observe the front of your right thigh as you get a nice lengthening going on in your iliacus and your psoas, the big hip flexor muscles that originate here in your lumbar spine and wrap around that side of your waist. Come all the way down to the top of your thigh. Inhale, center. Exhale, uncross your legs and bring both knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Drop the feet. Bring your arms down by your sides. Lengthen the back of your neck. Tip your chin down. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Let's lift again for a bridge pose. Again, we're lengthening along the hip flexors. Clasp your hands. Roll your arms under your body. Use that leverage. Stretch across the front of the body, the pectoral muscles, the deltoid muscles. Strengthening your quadriceps and then come up onto the balls of your toes. Google, stop. Oh, it won't work. Google's not listening. Then drop your left heel, take your right toes to the sky, reach. Press down into that left foot and slowly roll out of this. 
Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, let's lift that left foot off the floor and clasp your hands. Google, stop. No, Google says no. Draw that left knee in, press that right knee out. Breathe. Open out through your piriformis, through your hamstring tendon. Keep drawing that left knee in. And then let's drop that left foot down. Cross the right leg over, open the arms into a T. Big breath in. And exhale, drop the knees down to the right. Top knee, pressing down on the bottom. Breathe. back to center. Uncross the legs, bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Do a little um, strengthening for the core. Google, stop. Ha, I think I got it. No, <laughs> I did not. So let's come here and we're going to hook, cross that left leg over the right and, and tuck those left toes behind the Achilles tendon. Let's bring our arms up and we're gonna place that right elbow in the crook of the left. So we have eagle legs and eagle arms. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring the knees toward the chest, the elbows toward the knee. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. The lower you can drop your feet to the floor, the better the core work. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. One more time. And then let's unwrap, take the knees into the hands and let's make some big circles with our knees on the ceiling. Remember the direction you're going in. And then stop here. This time we're going to cross the right leg over the left and tuck those right toes behind that left Achilles tendon. We're going to place the right elbow inside the left. And we'll take a nice big inhale and exhale and crunch. Inhale and stretch, exhale and crunch. Keep going with the exhales, bringing you up, bringing the elbows to the outside of the knees, each time the opposite side. Two more times. And then let's unwrap. This time, make your knees go in the opposite direction. Hold on to your ankles. We're going to do some spinal rocking. So the inhale will rock you back and the exhale up. Next time you come up, let's stay up in bound angle. If you have a blanket, you can place it underneath your sits bones. Keep your feet slid slightly away from you. Press down into your sits bones, rise through the crown of your head, and begin to make some circles with the upper body. You can hold your ankles, you can hold your knees. Breathe. And then reverse your circles. 
let your head and your neck relax throughout the movement. And then stop here and take your hands and slide your hands underneath your calves and wrap your fingers around your toes. Take a nice big inhale and come to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And the last time, fold and hold. your head shake no and yes. And let the knees drop wide to the outside edges of your mat. Let your toes touch. Bring your arms forward and come into child pose. Breathe into your back body, into your side ribs. those fingers forward. Keep your elbows down. Traction along your spine. Traction along your arms. And then come up and come to be seated on your heels. Roll your shoulders. Big strokes like your back stroking. Big shoulder rolls forward. Clasp your hands. Place them on the back of your head. And let the weight of your arms lengthen the back of your neck. Bring your hands down. Make small circles with your head. other direction. Inhale all the way up. Bring your hands down behind you and lift your heart space. Inhale up and exhale. A nice 
nice little stretch for the lower body and shoulders. A nice little warm up for another practice. Om Shanti, Shalom, and peace. Namaste.